Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be making a delicious pumpkin pone recipe. This is a requested video from one of my subscriber. Remember for all the ingredients and measurements, it will be listed down below in the description box. Now here is what you will need for ingredients. Let's get started. Now let's take a quick look at the ingredients. Here I have my pureed pumpkin and I'm going to show you how I prepare my pumpkin in a few. In this container here I have some freshly grated coconut, some cornmeal and here I have some coconut cream or coconut milk. Um, here is the bran that I used. This bran you can use for um, so many different purposes. Now here I have some melted butter essence and in this container here I have my sugar, I have some cinnamon, I have some allspice, nutmeg, salt and some ginger powder. I also will be using a little bit of baking powder as well. Now here is how I prepare my pumpkin. After peeling and cutting it into small pieces I went ahead and washed them and to my blender I'm going to go in with a few pieces. We are then going to blend this until we have a nice smooth pureed consistency. If you would like to use a hand grater for this then you can do so. But for me I'm taking the easy way out of this one and blending it. After you're done blending your pumpkin this is how smooth in consistency it should be looking. Now let's place this on the side and move on to the next step. Now to a large mixing bowl I'm going to go in with my puree pumpkin followed by my coconut and my cornmeal. Next I'm going to add in my sugar and all of my spices and here I'm going to go in with my coconut cream. I'm also going to go in with my melted butter and my essence. Now you want to go ahead and mix it all together with your spatula to make sure that all the ingredients are evenly distributed. Now after everything is nicely distributed, this is how it should be looking. You should have a nice smooth consistency. If for some reason yours is looking very dry and more on the thicker side, then you can go ahead and add a little bit more of the coconut cream or if you would like to add some evaporated milk, then you can do so as well. So now that the batter come together, you're just going to taste it to make sure that there's enough sugar in there for you. If you would like to add some more, then you can go right ahead and do so. So today I will be using a 9 by 9 inch pan that I've lined with a piece of parchment paper. I also went ahead and spray some cooking spray on the parchment paper just for easy removal. Now I'm going to go ahead and empty my batter into my pan. Once the batter is in the pan, I'm then going to spread it out evenly to make sure I have an even bake. At this time, I'm also going to take the opportunity to preheat my oven to 375 degrees. I'll go ahead and place it on the middle shelf in the center of the oven. You will then bake it until you insert a skewer and it comes out clean. Now after an hour and 30 minutes of baking, I remove the pone from the oven and I'm going to insert a skewer and as you can see it came out clean. I am all set. Now we're just going to allow this to sit until it cools down before we cut into it. But just take a close up look at how delicious this is looking. My kitchen smells like heaven from all the spices that was used in this pumpkin pone. So now that this has cooled down, we're just going to remove it from the pan and I'm going to cut into it and show you guys how it's looking on the inside. Now here's a close-up look at how it's looking on the inside. Absolutely delicious and beautiful. And that's how simple and easy it is to make a delicious pumpkin pone recipe. I do hope you give it a try. 
Now that brings us to the end of today's video. I do hope you enjoy watching this video as much as I enjoy making it for you all. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed for more delicious recipe. As usual, I want to say thank you for watching. Goodbye and I will see you in my next video.